On nights when the moon is full and the ocean lies still as a mirror, an eerie tale floats across the waves, a tale as old as the sea itself. It's a story whispered by sailors around flickering campfires, a ghostly legend that chills the bones of even the bravest seafarers. It's the story of Captain Silas Grimm, a name that once struck terror into the hearts of those who dared to sail the high seas. But now, it is a name cursed to drift through the annals of maritime lore, eternally bound to the phantom ship known as the Abyssal Fury. But who was Silas Grimm, and what dark fate led him to become the ghostly captain of Neptune's curse? Long before he became a legend of the undead, Silas Grimm was a man of flesh and blood, a ruthless pirate whose ambitions knew no bounds. Born into a world of poverty, Silas clawed his way to power with a heart as cold and unyielding as the iron blade he wielded. His ship, the Abyssal Fury, was feared across the seven seas, a symbol of death and destruction that left a trail of plundered treasures and broken lives in its wake. Silas was not just a captain, he was a king among pirates, commanding a loyal crew of men as savage as he was. Together they ruled the seas, taking whatever they desired gold, jewels, and lives. But for Silas, mere riches were never enough. He craved something more, something that would set him above all others and grant him dominion over the very element he sailed upon. And so, when whispers of Neptune's trident reached his ears, Silas's fate was sealed. Neptune's trident, an artifact of immeasurable power, said to control the seas and summon storms with a mere flick of its prongs. It was a weapon of the gods, meant to be wielded by none but Neptune himself. But to Silas Grimm, it was the ultimate prize, a symbol of absolute power that he believed would make him invincible. The journey to find the trident was fraught with peril. Silas and his crew sailed to the farthest reaches of the known world, through waters where no map could guide them. They faced monstrous waves, whirlpools that could swallow ships whole, and creatures of the deep that defied description. But nothing could deter Silas from his goal. At last, they arrived at the mouth of an underwater cavern, a place where sunlight never reached and the water was as black as ink. Inside this cavern lay a temple, ancient, crumbling, and submerged in the depths, guarded by strange, otherworldly creatures that had never seen the surface. Undeterred by the ominous signs and the eerie silence of the deep, Silas pressed on, his eyes gleaming with greed. The temple was a sight to behold, even in its ruined state. Carvings of long-forgotten gods adorned its walls, their eyes seeming to follow the intruders with silent disapproval. At the heart of the temple, bathed in an ethereal glow, stood the object of Silas's obsession, Neptune's trident. The trident was magnificent radiating a power that seemed to pulse through the very water around it. Ancient warnings etched into the stone in a language long lost to time surrounded the pedestal on which it rested. But Silas paid no heed to these warnings. To him, they were nothing more than the ramblings of ancient fools. With a wild, triumphant laugh, Silas grasped the trident, ripping it from its resting place. For a moment, the ocean seemed to hold its breath, as if the very sea was waiting for something to happen. And then it did. The sky above the abyssal fury darkened with unnatural speed, and the sea began to churn with a fury that no storm had ever matched. Waves rose like mountains, towering over the ship and the wind howled with the voices of the damned. The crew, hardened men who had faced death a hundred times over, were struck with terror. They knew this was no ordinary storm. This was Neptune's wrath. 
one by one, the crew members were snatched from the deck by invisible hands, dragged screaming into the depths. Their cries were drowned out by the roaring sea, their bodies lost to the abyss. Silas, clutching the trident, realized too late the magnitude of his crime. But it was not his life that Neptune sought, no. The god of the sea had a far crueler punishment in mind. Silas Grimm, the pirate who had defied the gods, was cursed to sail the oceans for all eternity, never to know rest or peace. His ship, the Abyssal Fury, became a ghostly apparition, a ship of the dam that would forever haunt the seas. Now, the Abyssal Fury is a legend, a ghost ship seen only on the calmest of nights when the sea is unnaturally still. Sailors tell tales of spotting its ghostly outline on the horizon, drifting silently through the mist. They speak of the eerie call of its crew, a sound so haunting that it chills the soul and leaves those who hear it trembling with fear.